What's up world? I just got my nine foot six longboard back from repair. Check this thing out. She got the fin back in the box. So this was like a really, really bad spot. Um, you can tell where it was bad, but now it, even though it still looks kind of weird, it is super smooth and glassy. This thing is a super cool board. It's a little ugly looking on the bottom, but the other side is absolutely gorgeous. Woo! It is all ready to be surfed. Super huge thanks to Chris from Horizon East Surfboards for fixing it up. So now that it's ready to roll, um, it's actually perfect because this week is going to be a smaller week. Good week to take out the longboard. So I'm going to take it out Tuesday morning and I might bring out the paddleboard too. So Tuesday morning, do some longboarding, do some paddleboarding. See you guys then. You. What's up guys? It is five in the morning and I am going surfing, real surfing. It's been a long time since I've done that. I got my new longboard back. The one that I picked up for $75. That just needed some repair work. I was able to get the repair work done on a trade. And uh, I got it back. And it is water worthy. Ready to surf. So I'm super excited about that. I also brought the paddle board. Because I had so much fun with it in Destin. That uh, you know later on. Once I'm done with the long board. Uh, I might try to paddle surf into a few waves. On my stand the paddle board. Because I had a blast doing that. And I don't want to stop doing that. Gonna meet up with Dave Simmons down at Wrightsville Beach. I'm at the office, I'm gonna grab my GoPro, and we are on the way. small may end up on the paddleboard but I'm gonna get out there
great out there. The waves are kind of few and far between, so. Um, I caught a few, and they're nice when they come, but it's a lot of waiting for the big ones, so. I think I'm gonna hop out on the paddleboard since I brought it and uh, see how that goes. Here we go. changed heading home man today was a pretty good day i haven't surfed in three weeks like actual actual surf you know i did a lot of the uh stand up paddleboard surfing when i was in destin yeah the past two times before that were actually both really bad and then destin had little tiny waves and i was able to get them on the paddleboard but that was it um but man today it felt good to surf again actual uh regular surfing and on top of that i got to surf my uh longboard that i snagged on the marketplace for 75 bucks got it repaired from chris jespin at horizon east surfboards uh, if you're in the raleigh wilmington uh sort of central to eastern north carolina area man this guy does a great job at repairs um i couldn't be happier it did good today wasn't the best day to catch a ton of waves but um the waves that came i caught them and uh they were awesome yeah then i switched to the paddleboard and man what a blast uh going from those little tiny waves in destin to like decent size two three foot waves here at Wrightsville Beach, um, man, that was like a night and day difference. I felt like I was flying on the paddleboard when I was catching those things because you catch them from so far out and um, you can really ride them a long time. So that was super fun. I am glad that I learned how to stand up paddle surf in Destin in smaller conditions. Learning how to do all that ahead of time and sort of getting the technique down, you know, learning how to shift my weight back on the board and change from parallel stance to surf stance and hybrid stance and then 
shifting back the weight when I catch the wave, all that kind of stuff. I think it was really good to be able to learn how to do that in small conditions. It really prepared me for today, which is was a good kind of intermediate uh, transition from small clean conditions to bigger medium clean conditions. It wasn't super choppy today and the waves weren't very frequent. So when I did wipe out, I had plenty of time to get back on and not just get plummeted by more waves. Had a good time with Dave. I'm really glad I brought the paddle board because that was a lot of fun. You know, when I left, there were pretty much no more waves. So it's kind of flattened out quite a bit, but um, it was not a waste of a trip. First actual surfing trip since, gosh, since before vacation. I feel energized. I feel refreshed. I got salt and sand all in my hair. It feels amazing. So I'm gonna get something epic to drink. Oh no, I passed the gas station. Shoot. Ah. Okay. I'll turn around and get something from that station. Know what I'm talking about? Boo! All right, here we go. I uh, just got that guy off. I'm gonna turn around, get something from this gas station over here, and uh, and then uh, head home and hang out with the fam. Hey, if you enjoy watching these videos, if you are entertained at least mildly by them, um, like them and subscribe them. Subscribe to my channel down there. That button, you can hit it, and you will subscribe. So, uh, yeah, I'd love it if you would do that. Help me grow and be able to keep doing these videos. Um, also, you know, if you have any tips or suggestions, let me know. Um, I'm learning, kind of figuring this whole thing out by myself. And, uh, yeah, I want to wanna grow in the craft and learn how to do it better and better. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see in these vlogs. I know they're usually centered around surfing, but... We went on vacation, we did a bunch of other stuff, and I had a blast vlogging all that. So if you want to see more other stuff, me just doing stuff with my fam and um, doing stuff with friends, uh, let me know if you're interested in that as well. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to interact in the comments. And we will see you next time for the next Eastern Stoke Surfing Vlog. Yeah!